dorsalis pedis artery. This dorsalis pedis artery is the chief artery of the dorsum of the foot. And what about the origin? The dorsalis pedis artery is a direct continuation of the anterior tibial artery in front of the ankle. Let us talk about the course. It passes forward along the medial side of the dorsum of the foot to reach the proximal end of the first intermetatarsal space where it dips downwards between the two heads of the first dorsal interosseous muscle to enter the sole of the foot. At the sole of the foot, it ends by anastomosing with the lateral plantar artery. And this is what is the continuation and termination of the dorsalis pedis artery. Now let us talk about the relations. What are the superficial relations of this artery? Superficially, it is related to extensor hallucis brevis, which crosses the artery superficially from lateral to the top of the medial side. And what are the deep structures? And deep structures are nothing but the ankle joint as well as tarsal bones. And medially, it is related to the tendon of extensor hallucis longus. And laterally, it is related to the first tendon of extensor digitorum longus. And these are the relations. And what about the branches of the dorsalis pedis artery? The dorsalis pedis artery gives an important branches like lateral as well as medial tarsal arteries, arcuate artery. All these are the arteries which are formed by the dorsalis pedis artery. If you see the branches that is lateral as well as medial tarsal arteries, they take part in the formation of the lateral as well as medial malleolar arterial networks. And what is the arcuate artery? Arcuate artery is one of the very important branch of the dorsalis pedis artery. It arises near the base of the second metatarsal and runs laterally with a slight convexity towards the toes to reach the lateral edge of the foot. It gives three dorsal metatarsal arteries that is second, third and fourth in number and each of which divides further into dorsal arteries for the lateral four toes. And the lateral one sends a twig to the lateral side of the little toe. Next important artery is the first dorsal metatarsal artery. This first dorsal metatarsal artery arises just before the dorsalis pedis artery dips into the sole of the foot. It divides into dorsal digital arteries for the adjacent sides of the first as well as to the second toes. It also gives a dorsal digital artery especially to the medial aspect of the big toe. And these are the branches which are arising from the dorsalis pedis artery. What about the clinical correlation? It is important for the pulsations, which is nothing but called as the dorsalis pedis artery pulse. The pulse can be easily felt between the tendons of extensor hallucis longus and the first tendon of extensor digitorum longus. And it is often palpated in patients who are suffering from vasoocclusive diseases of the lower limb like Burger's disease. And this is what we need to know about the dorsalis pedis artery.